Today I'm going to pot up a couple of my leaf pots of Don Michelle, a vintage mini variety of African violet. I bought it as a plant at an African violet show back in April, and rather than repot it, I sanitized the leaves and planted leaf pots. They've grown some nice baby plants in just a couple of months. I will do both tiny 1 inch pots to put in egg cups and 2 inch pots with wicks that will be appropriate for either mat or wick watering. First I'll gather my materials. I'll be using these egg cups as planters with these tiny 1 inch pots that fit inside. For my transplants I'll be using labeled 2 inch pots with a sport weight yarn for a wick. I've got floral pins on hand in case a new plant is wobbly. A magnetic parts holder is a good way to keep these contained. My potting mix is very light with plenty of perlite so that oxygen can reach the roots. And finally, something to dome the plantlets until you see new growth. I like to begin with a rather dry leaf pot so that the leaves are softer and less likely to break. Right before I take them apart, I water thoroughly so that the roots come apart easier and without too much damage. Gently separate each baby plant and set them aside. Don't worry about how much of a root ball you leave. They will regrow nicely in their new mix. First, I'll pot up the one inch pot for the tiny planter. This will need watered carefully since there's no drainage in the cup and it's too shallow for wick watering. Next, I'll pot up the remaining plantlets that I want to keep into labeled 2 inch pots. To avoid root rot and mineral crusting, be careful not to bury the crown of any African violet too deeply.
I dome everything when it's first transplanted until I see new growth. You can use a plastic bag, takeout container, or anything that lets in light and holds in the humidity. I prop the dome up to let air in if there is a lot of condensation. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe.